Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Mule on the Serious JG. We're fighting our way through the Battle of Sekigahara. A lot of fog and a lot of dead soldiers. That's pretty much been the watchword. Uh, don't know that this is going to work. Uh, oh, it does work. Okay. Well, there's one of the Kadama. Oh, and <laughs> managed to get him despite having missed uh, one of the soldiers in here. Whoopsie. Oh, that's okay. We'll get him now. You can see him over there crouching behind that uh, cannon. Anyway, uh... There's a lot of uncertainty in my mind about how we're supposed to proceed in this level. But we're doing the best we can. Just shot a guy that we probably had the ability to sneak up on and melee kill, which is always preferred in my mind because although I've got the skill that allows you to get back, uh, ammo sometimes, it's not like 100%. So I try to avoid killing guys at range if we don't need to. I'm really not sure. I know I want to head over here now because there's enemies there that we haven't killed. But I really don't know how to get there. Looks like I missed some of the treats that we get for murdering that guy. Is there any way to climb up to this side? No. There's a shrine that I don't want to get because I'm reasonably confident that we've cleared a lot of enemies. I know we've cleared a lot of enemies. I don't want to have to clear them all again. we found our way over to here. And if I hadn't killed that guy at range, that battle would have been significantly more difficult. I'm sure of that. How many regular bullets have I got left? Four. Okay. I use some ninja points to upgrade cannons, but I don't use them that much unless it's a yokai. It seems like a waste against anything but a big enemy. Oh. No more heads. I don't want to lose my head. Don't lose your head. Make them history. Okay, well, here's a boss fight of some sort coming up, I think. And I'm not 100% I know how to come back from that fight. Because it's a drop down into where you're fighting Sakon, I'm guessing, based on the prior cinematic. And the fact that I know Sakon will be a boss at some point. So maybe I do want to hit that uh, save point after all, just so that I know if I fail, I know where I'm coming back from. Also, geez, at this point I'm close enough to leveling up. It would be really be nice to level up once, just so that I don't have a lot of Amaretta to lose. I don't feel like every time I fail against Sakon... Oh, good on. Just kind of wandered right into him. That if I fail once or twice against Sakon, I don't feel like I have to use a Summoner's Candle. Although, again, I know where to get more, so I shouldn't worry about that too much. Except that I can't... Can't restock between missions, and I don't have the full complement of nine. Okay, you're not an enemy soldier, then, I guess. Always clamoring for war, but we 
Guess that guy shit himself when he died. That seems reasonable. Apparently this is not how wells work. went very poorly right at the end. So what were you guarding in here? A long and winding path back to the Kadama that I couldn't get at the very beginning of the level? Perhaps? Be. If I get back to the very beginning of the level now, there will be enemies that did that will have respawned because I uh, cleared out the um, the path to um, fight Otani and um, then hit a uh, save. Oh, see, you are an enemy soldier. It was hard to tell. Oh, wow, I messed that up bad. So you get you get overconfident. Any enemy can wipe you out if you're just like suddenly stop paying attention to what you're doing. Don't know what's in there and whether it's worth messing with flames. But I do need to start being careful. This is clearly an area I haven't already been through. So I guess you're an allied soldier? I don't seem to be allowed to target you. I guess this would be a shortcut path through these flames from somewhere to somewhere. sure seems like I could easily get to both sides of that path. Fire cannons, water cannons, air cannons, earth cannons, heart cannons, and so weiter. I don't know what's causing all that panting, but there's a Kadama somewhere around here. I think, I'm, I think this is the one from the beginning of the level again. I found a new place from which I can't reach it. So maybe that's what this is about over here. It would feel pretty good if this is the last Kadama, I don't mind telling you. It means I can blitz through the last couple of bosses and um, and feel confident that I can be done with this place. But it is not. Like I said, I do feel... It, this really feels like this is the beginning of the level. I think over there is the initial shrine. Not positive, but I think that might be the case. Um, am I supposed to be able to talk to you? It seems like you're more animated than most of the uh, soldiers that I pass. I haven't been through here. There may be some cinematic to happen here. But I think we found the, the big boss fight with Sakon. Do they not fear explosives? Are these guys nutsy cuckoo? Are they cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? Am 
Well, I feel like I've had a reasonably sharp eye out. And have, uh, oh. As soon as I say that, I get spotted by an enemy that I hadn't seen coming. But the minute I say that, what I was getting at is I don't think we've missed any Kadama. Because I've been... I never thought my death would come at the hands of Blue-Eyed Samurai. Sorry, man. Well, at least he found some amusement in it. Yeah, I'm under the impression. I think I've had sharp enough eyes to notice Salton Ladar and would have seen if a Kadama showed up on our radar. I think. Can't say that for certain. Excuse me, with certainty. So this is the way to our next fight. In the interest of not having it all to do over again, let's see if we can save at the shrine. We respawn some enemies. But I'll have a significantly heightened sense of security about the fight to come. Especially if we can dash past most of these enemies that have respawned. Or if maybe they spawn in such a way that we don't have to worry about them at all. Nope. Gotta at least deal with this guy. Fudge. Well, if I really wanted to level up one more time, this would be the, this could be my uh, place. I just keep fighting that guy over and over. So now the challenge is find the most direct and safe route from this shrine to the next boss fight. It may probably well, it's probably just right here. Yeah, it would be this right here. Sorry, friend. I have other things to do. Oh, actually, I should deal with you because I need to uh, need to put my buffs on before I go down there. I don't want to go down there in a mad dash. You know, a little help wouldn't have been, uh, you know, uh, would have been appreciated there, friend. I guess you're freaking out over the horrors of war and whatnot. I should give you, give you a pass, maybe. I haven't been using the, uh... Oh, I guess we did have a little bit more. Okay. I haven't been using the, uh, spirit talismans. Alright, that's what I figured. Sakon is gonna rough shit up. Sakon has left the battlefield. Thank you. Thank you very much. It'll be a little less Elvisy in this game, I would imagine. So, foreigner, have you got a. Uh, are you hot blooded? Should I check it and see? But you'll do. Oh, he's got like a grapple. He's messing me up something fierce. It's just not letting me get off my uh, sloth talisman, which is wise, of course.
Alright, scum bum. There we go, first try. Mission complete? Oh, is that the end of the level? Oh, in that case, I guess I do have to make a return trip. I missed a Kadama. I thought that this wouldn't be it yet. But, uh, you know what? Beating you on the first try put me in a hell of a good mood. I'll actually treat you like an ally. I am a bit pissed off that I missed a Kadama, but what can you do? Well, I can level up. That's what I can do. If I get enough um, Amaretta from winning this one. Oh, it instantly took off your helmet. Well, you know, I got a fever of 1,003, so... Oh, I didn't get that other spirit by Spirit Division, did I? They were right to do so, however... Ambitious, unselfish. Not two words generally paired together, but... That can be a thing. I didn't do too bad. I was an eight, but he was a ten. Well, you know, you haven't gone all, you haven't gone all demon on me, so. Is that worth more than your head? I have your spirit animal by division. Yeah, he is trying to buy time. Kelly's a jerk. Three hundred human sacrifices, and I'll turn Sack on Shima into some kind of super demon, huh? What's he gonna say? Oh, you jerk! You're gonna sacrifice three hundred people to save the guy who actually retained his honor. Well, it said the mission was complete, though, so I thought that meant it was complete. Yeah, Mitsunari, in this game, not portrayed as somebody who cares a whole lot about the common people. He has this very general theme of justice in some of the other games, but justice apparently doesn't mean a whole lot as far as the lives of commoners and treating them correctly. Oh, yuck. Is this mission over or not? Because that sure looks like a nasty boss that we still have yet to fight. But I guess we're fighting it in the next mission. Because we've been possessed by Kata Jishi by a spear division. And Sakon Shima seems to still be alive. Maybe the mission isn't over yet, and... No, that's the mission select screen music. So I'll definitely have to go through this off-screen and get that missing Kadama. I thought I was pretty thorough, but it looks like we missed one somewhere. Not the end of the world. Kelly just used some dark art to swallow up tens of thousands of dead soldiers to create... Gasha Dokuru, a giant yokai. So this was his goal all along. Could be. We got the gesture of fire. We have Oni Sakon's spear. And we got some ammo. So we finished Sekigahara. I missed one Kadama somewhere. We didn't unlock any new side... Oh, no, we do have new side missions. We have main mission, the source of evil. Side mission, Kuroda's determination. The Crimson Sky of Doom, Magzor Sekigahara, the yokai infestation appears to have begun there. This is no time for fighting our fellow men. Lord Nagamasa is also reportedly doing his best to stop both sides of the battle. But Lord Nagamasa does not yet 
He does not have the strength to stand against the yokai. I fear for his safety. Will you go and see if he is all right? You'll win the play dead gesture. The Gasha Dokuru is a yokai, both from the bitter grudges, born from the bitter grudges of countless fallen soldiers. Left unchecked, it is only a matter of time until it consumes the entire world. Sir Engine, you must defeat it before all of humanity is wiped out. I and Master Hansa will assist you as best we can. Five Kadama to be found there. One that we missed here. Oh, and an, there is a new side mission. Desperate Retreat. And it's Yasu himself. I have an urgent request, Anjan. Finish off the Shimazu forces now fleeing Sekigahara. Oh, that was an interesting piece, like, actually based on history here, too. Those cursed Shimazu broke through, broke right through right in front of our main lines with just a few hundred warriors. They are dead men already, losing their reason as we speak. If we do not stop them, there will be unfortunate and, unpre and preventable deaths on our side. Neomasa is already on his way to crush them. I want you to follow him there and relieve the Shimazu general, Yoshihiro, of his head. And uh, for Zerfal, who's not watching this series anyway, Yoshihiro was one of the... When we conquered Kyushu, the island of the far southwest of Japan, he became like our main warlord leader guy uh, in all future missions in, uh, in Indo, Way of the Ninja. And uh, if you guys enjoy Ninja Let's Plays, um, yeah, Zerfal and I, it's not all public yet. We fairly recently, spoiler alert, I guess, completed um, our playthrough of an Indo Way of the Ninja. And he's just making the last few ch episodes public, um, you know, every couple of days. What's annoying about this, though? Oh, and another side. A lot of stuff opened up. The Silent Crow. Lately, there have been many cases of people disappearing from the bathhouse, then returning as corpses. The strange thing is, they've all been men. Apparently, oh, I think this was already a side mission that I didn't do yet. Apparently, the news has left the bathhouse practically deserted. The owner must have thought it was the work of Yokai because he's hired mercenaries to deal with them. But now the mercenaries are missing, too. And that's where you come in. It's a lot to ask, but will you investigate? So, side mission. Side mission. Main mission, we needed to go again because I missed uh, one of the Kadamas. Then a side mission. And the next actual mission. But to my frustration, can't quite afford to level up yet. Which means that what I'm going to do is... I don't remember if I've done this on screen or not yet. But I'm going to go through the... Um, mission that I do to grind for Amarita. Because doing this one approximately twice will be enough to actually um, level up. So I'll see if I can do it pretty fast. I did not bother to switch to uh, gear, like weapon types that I need to get uh, more proficiency with. I probably should have done that. Although the ones I don't have proficiency with yet, um, now that I've kind of looked it up and I particularly useful game facts thread you know what let me quick open that up so i can give credit in my let's play to the guy game facts user holy forks holy underscore forks um had a post that that lays out how the mystic arts work really well though it doesn't have a dachi um and from what i can see just by pure dumb luck the Weapons that I haven't gotten full proficiency with yet and haven't been able to unlock Mystic Arts for uh, are not really ones whose Mystic Arts uh, work well when you don't use that weapon. You know, like I said, the Axe, uh, one of the Mystic Arts for Axe, uh, its passive benefit works even if you're not using an Axe. But the So it's not really essential other than just to be something of a completionist to go and get proficiency on those weapons, but I kind of want to anyway. Forget this guy's name. I'm wondering, do we get to cosplay as him eventually? Hello, friend. That was actually a close one. Didn't really take that on in the most efficient possible manner. This guy comes up here. 
I really find these guys in line to fuck them. I got some more Gyagyu garb. And plenty of elixirs to cover the one that I used. Anyway, if you head up here, this guy always drops a summoner candle. So I just need to remember to actually go into my items uh, from the storehouse and get the stock, that take some out of the storehouse stock to get my inventory stock back up. And I've gotten really used to the layout of the enemies in this place. The guy who's flashing orange is my ally who's following me. I got very confused about that for just a second. Damn, I'm screwing this up against this guy. Anyway, here's the enemy that we want, of course. Um, we'll give him poison line just in case it helps. Probably makes more sense to do this again real quick and call it a video than to do inventory management in front of you guys in order to level up. Oh, actually, I think that leveled me up enough. I think that gave me enough to level up. So that being the case, um, i got to think about what I want to level up because some of my, my previous off-screening was based on the idea that I needed to get both Mystic Arts for uh, Ninja and Anmyo. If I can only have one at a time, I have to decide, do I want to buy them both so I can switch back and forth as it suits, or do I just want to buy one? In which case, I actually have more points to spend that I hadn't been uh, counting on having. Is uh, Sakon still alive at this point in the story? We, Okatsu is, uh, has more story things to happen. Kuroda's determination. Oh, okay. That's that's the guy. This that submission is about. We're done with Kanbai. We're done with we're done with uh, Genshi. Apparently, we're not done with all the Tachibana with uh, Munishige. But I would have thought that Kobayakawa's storyline would be finished uh, with the end of that last fight, but maybe not. Fuku, we have more stuff to do. Tenkai. I wonder if we get to cosplay as him eventually. We probably do. I guess he's going to be involved with the Silent Crow mission somehow. That's an accidental spoiler. And I guess he's we f he's dead now. I mean, he should be dead. But I guess beating him a couple more times or replaying that level will unlock something, and then who knows. Toyotomi Hideyoshi... I guess we find out more about the historical figures than we do... I don't know if we're finding out stuff that's like in, in story. Are we going to learn whether Sakon is still alive or not? Because this is talking about stuff that happened before we even get to Sekigahara at this point. Anyway, in uh, my leveling up, I figured I would have... Um, I've been trying to level up things that would give me more samurai skill points. Because I kind of felt like I was running out of things to spend these points on. But, I mean, I could go back to leveling this up. Boosting my resistance to fire and stuff. I kind of got the skills that I want, by and large, from this tree. I could get more elixir stuff. I could certainly always use more points in uh, dexterity to boost my uh, Kusari, Kusari Gama, and that would allow me to go in and like um, continue to up up. I could I could start trying to level up my um, rifle as well as the uh, damage. 
Because I got the basic boost for this. One more cannon round and damage. If I did seven points here, that would leave me enough to get... No, that wouldn't leave me enough to get um, a Mystic Art. Mystic Arts here cost five. So I have really six points to spend. So if I got another point in Dexterity, I probably I would be able to afford to level these two up and be able to afford one Mystic Art. I don't usually have to think through these things on camera, I apologize. I just want to get these points spent before I go in and ac accidentally lose them somehow. So, I would get a little bit more key and would improve my sword with this, with heart. Stamina is not really going to do that much for us. Strength, eh, give me a samurai skill point, that's about it. Actually, some of these aren't giving me samurai skill points either. Strength is going to help my sword out and give me better key pulse, and that's about it. Now, skill would increase my range. Well, skill would actually be probably the best overall. It would give me a samurai skill point, and it would um, give a minor boost to all sorts of different weapons. And then dexterity would give me four ninja skill points. Yeah, I think we'll go with this. It's really only one boost to my um, Kusari Gama, though. This does me the same. It gives me a samurai point instead of... Ah, screw it. Don't think about it so hard. I might regret it later, but I've got all sorts of those books that let you reset your stats. It'll be fine. And this will allow me to go in on the ninja tree... And uh, I can get the, the most basic, basic passive increases for rifle. I could even get it for bow. If I get it for bow, I would be one point short of being able to get a mystic art. So I need to hold off. But yeah, the idea of like actually boosting all my range stuff and then getting the ranged damage mystic art has an appeal. Probably the smart choice is to get the one that lets you cast stuff on yourself instantly. Because you can even do it while dashing. You can, like, while running around at speed, cast the spell that makes it so you come back from the dead if you're hit. But that almost feels cheap styles. And I don't know that I would really even take advantage of it. The same as I would some of these other passive boosts, like just doing a little bit more damage and having more ranged. At any rate, calling it a video now. So uh, when we come back, folks... Um... We will continue with our exciting adventures. Probably, I don't know, maybe we'll do the side mission. Um, maybe we'll do some of these side missions. I'm the Serious JG. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I hope you join me next time for more of Let's Play. Oh, I didn't check to see if our new... Oof. Let's do that real quick on camera. I'll feel very silly if we should have leveled up spirit because we now have guardian spirits that require one higher level of spirit to get the maximum advantage, and we do. I should have leveled up spirit. Because now we can't do skill life drain. Don't know if I was going to use this anyway. And oh, key plus 20. I I do like that. And this one, auto charge amaretta gauge. I think that means uh basically if you get a critical if you take critical damage, you can automatically uh, summon your guardian spirit because that's what the Amarita Gauge does, right? At any rate, I've only got 20, so I should have. Um, I guess I should have. No, no, I need two more to get that spirit anyway. Well, I'll have to think about whether I want to off screen to level up or just bear that in mind for the future. But um, that's going to do it for now. When we come back, uh, we'll probably do a side mission or something. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Thanks for watching, and see you guys later.